So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. That's fielded in the end zone. And not a great return here. He'll make it back only to the 10-yard line. And here now come the Falcons. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was really easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. Give them 11 on the game there. And it'll be first down Atlanta. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. The evaluation process in today's NFL does not take into account as much bulk as it does speed. And that's what we're seeing with the linebacker position. Those guys that can run, they can play at any spot because they can make plays on the opposite side of the line of scrimmage. Well, you can see what they wanted to do. They wanted to set up the screen there, but it got blown up. It's hard to run that play if you're not getting a lot of pressure at the quarterback because the space doesn't open up. They were able to read that one. And they're going to fake it from deep in their own territory. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass <laughs> rush. Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. Uh, we'll see if they can disrupt it here. A gain of three, second down. We always like to talk about defense in terms of levels. First level defensive line, second level linebackers, third level defensive backs. On that run, that was what we call a first level run, and it was stopped by a second level player. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Normally, he's pretty reliable. Usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. In danger of squandering their great field position as they come up on a third and seven. And the defense definitely let's showing go, blitz go. here. Johnson and he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first they get nine out of that one and as a result the drive continues now that's the way to do it hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add in a little bit of power and you find a way to pick up first downs here's Palmer this will be caught just inside the 10 that throw good for four it's second down And we've arrived at the two-minute warning here in half number one. They come out with one back and three tight ends. Palmer will throw. Palmer's hit, fumble. He loses the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. They come out here in the eye. Now Palmer backing up. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. And Catton's 
Cazero's kick is right through. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So the drive stalls out, but they are able to put three points on the board. Yeah, just a yard or two shorter than an extra point. So no problems converting there. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And on that last drive, Whitford on fourth turned it over. But good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down, when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here, because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what you I think that factored in. I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. Now Ryan on second down. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and they'll be faced with a third and inches. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Ryan now to throw on third down. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Every game plan meeting I ever sat in as a player, three and out was emphasized like crazy because obviously I play defense. So get off the field, win third down. They did. But well, let's be honest about it. They had some help on that they one. They had some help indeed on that drop. And in their own territory, needing only a few inches, they're going to line up to go for this thing on fourth down. Ryan, he's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he takes this one all the way across midfield into enemy territory down to the 40-yard line. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. And now a first down following that long gain. Now Ryan on first down. This one complete to Mohamed Sanu. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown Atlanta. Mohamed Sanu, 40 yards. And the Falcons have retaken the lead. And while that touchdown does not give them an insurmountable lead, it's still a lead, and that always feels good to a team. They'd love to take that into the lockers, but a little time left on that clock, so some work to do. I like that. I like how you're guarding against a letdown there. Are you looking forward? Coaching them up from right up here in the booth. Now after the touchdown, it's Bosher to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out proved somewhat fruitful as he is able to get it across the 25 by a little bit. The Cardinal offense now making their way back out onto the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Completes it over the middle to Floyd. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Mirror, mirror, mirror. Here we go. Blue, mirror, mirror, mirror. On second down, Palmer. He's got time in the pocket. He sets to fire deep. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play. And guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? In this case, they managed to get it done. Flushed out right. Now he's going to throw it deep to the other side of the field. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. 